<laughs> Hello? Yeah, I've just come back from the gym a little while ago and uh, having a few drinks and put mine on for the video. It's there. And I've, but I've got it on the NASA Velcro strap. With the NASA uh, serial number and everything on there. And Velcro. That's a decent watch there. And um, this is a Laphroaig. Very nice Laphroaig. Ten year old. One of my favourites, I absolutely love Lefroy. I know it splits opinion. Because it is quite unusual, but I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I came back from the circuit training. About 70 or 80 of us doing that. I'm sure it will kill me one day doing it. But Yeah, so we just came back from that, having a few drinks. I had a couple of these. Staropromen, Czech Lager there, which is a very nice beer, and then started on the Lafroy. And it's very rewarding to have a nice drinky after the gym, I find, even if it is a bit counterproductive in, on, on some level. But you know, what, what can you say? Yeah, so. But I'm not sure. I might go. Might buy another Aquanaut again, because I really regret selling that. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to get that a uh, no date sub as a as a kind of a, a watch to wear to the gym. Really, might put that on a NATO or, or a rubber strap, and just uh, have it as a beta. Really, you know, a no date sub. I think that'd be the ultimate beta. Really. Yeah, you've got to have a speedy. Gotta have a speed in there. I actually wear this at night. If I'm not, don't wear it during the day. If I put on the Rolex Oyster Perpetual during the day, for example, I always put that on at night for some reason. Don't know why. I just like to. I always like to wear a watch at night. I wore this horrible thing to the to that circuit training, the F91. Well, it's not horrible. It's just extremely functional and nothing else, isn't it? But yeah, I, I reckon I, I, I could swap that out for for a no date sub, and then even when I'm doing all that working out, still have a nice a nice watch on. I think I could do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the Talisco. I, I that's one of the one of the the molts I had when I celebrate buying my Aquanaut. The other was a, a Welsh whiskey, the Penderin. Yeah, so buying, you know, bam, 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 three Rolexes all at once. Because, um, you, you know, if you get them straight all in a row, you, all at once, you don't, you know, you don't appreciate what it, what it's like to get them, don't do you, somehow. Yeah. Um, I, myself, I, I really, I ended up selling that Aquanaut for various reasons, you know. I really would like one again. I'd really like to get the Aquanaut again. I bought the I bought the Rolex Oyster Perpetual as a kind of a sensible, you know, wearable everyday watch. And it's a very nice watch. I love the blue dial. Um but really I think that the Aquanaut was just so good as an everyday watch. It was so nice. And I think if I had got the Aquanaut and the no date sub, as I mentioned earlier, and then maybe something. So if I already had those two, the no date sub and the Aquanaut, I think something complicated and gold. I mean, not necessarily gold, but something something either gold or complicated. That would do me. I don't really want too many watches. I don't want six, six to ten watches that some people get. It's just not what. It just doesn't suit me. Um, I want to know what my watches are for, really, and I, and, I, and I think that would do me a nice uh, no date sub, Aquanaut again, and and possibly the Grand Date because I always like the Grand Date. I know I had the, the Reverso Grand GMT, 
um, which I got for a good price. But I really wanted the, the Grand Eight at the time. I, I think I may, I may go for one. I may go. The, I may. That might be my three. That might. I'll probably keep the Speedy as well. That would probably be my three. No date sub, Aquanaut, and 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 the Grand Date maybe. And I may. Uh, well, I think that will do. That's probably how I'm going to go over the next six months or so. That's my plan.